Eagle 7 here. Wanted to make a video on aircraft performance. I see on the forum some people are talking about uh, the aircraft when it has full fuel and full weapons on it doesn't seem to have enough power and that is true. Uh, overloading the aircraft can dramatically decrease its performance. But not only the weight of the aircraft, there's other outside factors that can affect aircraft performance. We refer to them as high, hot, and heavy. If you're operating in a high density altitude environment, such as in the mountains of the Caucasus, the air is thinner, which causes the engine to work harder, and the rotor system is less efficient. So that would cause a decrease in performance. If you're operating on a hot day, such as today in Nellis, it's 110 degrees outside. That'll affect your engine and rotor performance. And third is heavy, which we are. We're at 19,000 pounds with full armament and full fuel. So when we bring this aircraft into a hover, I'm going to anticipate that we'll barely, barely have enough power to hover. We'll see that we're going to enter into our caution range on our TGT. We'll temp out, more than likely, before we torque out. And Eagle Dynamics in their quick start manual on page 97 tells us that we can operate in that yellow area on the TGT from 811 to 870 C for 30 minutes and 871 to 878 for 10 minutes. So we have a little wiggle room there. And the second thing I want to show you when we enter that hover we'll be operating in the yellow arc in the TGT. I want to talk about left pedal turns versus right pedal turns. I'm going to demonstrate that when you make a left pedal turn, you're going to see your torque and your TGT are going to increase. That left pedal is sometimes referred to as the power pedal. In an aircraft with a counterclockwise rotation system, which this is, some aircraft have a clockwise rotating main rotor. I believe the Hind does, and I know the A-Star that I flew used to. So, but it, for this demonstration, we have a counterclockwise rotating rotor system which means our fuselage wants to rotate to the right so we need to apply left anti-torque to, to counter that and when we do it's gonna require more power from the engine and you'll see our TGT and our torque rise conversely when we do a right pedal turn you're gonna see the torque in the TGT decrease slightly that's because we're no longer having to increase engine and torque to overcome we're actually allowing the torque from the main rotor to turn the fuselage to the right requiring less power. So let, let me go ahead and demonstrate that. So we'll slowly bring it up into a hover, increasing our collective slowly. Anticipate left anti-torque and a little left cyclic. And you can see we're already in the yellow on the TGT. There's a five foot hover and we're at 833. Now if I do a left pedal turn, 836, 838, all right, let's make that left pedal turn and you'll see it increase. You can see it increasing there, we're at 841 now. Go ahead and stop that turn. about 837, 830, it's coming down, 830. So we're back at about 830 on our TGT. Now I'm going to make a right pedal turn and watch the TGT. 825, 824. So you can see left pedal turns require more power, right pedal turns require less power. So let's go ahead and put the aircraft back down and talk about a technique we can use for takeoff when we're operating in a high, hot, and heavy environment. It's called a running takeoff. We can do it in an aircraft equipped with skids, or in this case we have wheels. And again, my disclaimer is I've never flown the Apache. I was a civilian helicopter pilot. But we did this procedure in aircraft equipped with skid gear. So what we want to do is make sure our parking brake is off, increase our collective, left anti-torque and we want a little left cyclic and then we want to get the aircraft rolling 
And as we're doing this, we're creating a relative wind across our rotor disc off our nose. And that relative wind is actually making our rotor disc more effective. And as you can see, I haven't yet entered the yellow arc yet on the TGT. We're at 713. And as I increase my speed, I can increase my collective. And we can increase it right to the top of the green arc. And now you can see we're climbing out at 66 knots, about 500 feet per minute rate of climb, which isn't too bad with an aircraft that's very heavy. So that's just one technique that you can use if your aircraft is uh, overweight and you're having performance issues and you're having difficulty taking off or the aircraft is kind of just flying out of control when you try to lift off. So I hope that helps. And we'll see you on the next one.